we welcome you into the house of the Lord this afternoon. It is a good day. Amen. It is a good day because this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Glory be to God. I know there are a few people who they are ready to rejoice in the Lord. So if you are, rise on your feet with me and let's worship this King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Let's adore the presence of the Lord in this place this evening. Hallelujah for this God that we serve. He is worthy, the world said he is worthy. Speak to the Lord. 
My God, I know you are able. I know you are able to keep me. Hallelujah. The word declares that we are kept by none other. But we are kept, hallelujah, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I know the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Come on, behave like you know he is here. Behave like you know he is right here, right now, at this moment. Hallelujah. And the word says, where the Spirit of the Lord is. Where the Spirit of the Lord is. I want you to behave like a group of liberated people, even right now. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Come on, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your voices and praise your God. Hallelujah. Liberate yourselves in the, in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the fruits of your lips give him praise. Even at this moment, come on and praise him, saints. Hallelujah. God, we praise your name. God, we praise your name. God, we exalt your name. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Glory, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Glory be to Jesus. Glory. Come on and worship him. Come on, worship him. He is here. His presence is in this place. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Hallelujah. Worship him. Worship him. With gladness in your hearts. Worship him. With all that you've got. Come on. Worship him. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God, I release the anointing that is already in this place. I release him to give your people the unction to function. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them so come before you. Hallelujah. Withholding nothing. Let them so come before you. Forgetting, oh God, the things that they left behind. Let them so come before you. To reverence you, knowing that you are here. You are here right now in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus so Jesus we call upon your name even right now there is something about the name of Jesus there is something about that name that name that is above every name Hallelujah. That name that stands with all authority, with all honor, with all respect. Hallelujah. That name. Hallelujah. Even at the very sound of the name. Hallelujah. He must be so reverenced. Hallelujah. That the word says, at the sound of his name, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. It means to say that even the enemy must bow to the very sound of his name, Jesus. So Satan, we command you, we command you to bow before the name. We command you to bow at the very sound of the name. Hallelujah. The name also says, every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. That you are Lord God, Lord in our lives. Lord in 
the universe, Lord, in this church, Lord, in our homes, Lord, in this temple. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, just give him a little more time. Just take a little moment, hallelujah, and reverence this God in your life. Take a little moment, come on, saints. Take a little moment, hallelujah. Hey, and tell him how much you love him. Take a little moment and let him know how much you adore. Hey, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Because I love you, I can lift up my voice in worship. I can lift my voice in praise. I can lift my voice, hallelujah, to adore you. Hey, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Does any one of you got bread today? Hallelujah. Any one of you have bread, just praise him. Yeah, just praise him. Yeah, 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 yeah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Yeah, shanama sikerebesundaramari. Rande ki andorobosi. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And so today, oh God, we reverence your presence, hallelujah. And we stand before your presence even right now. Asking you, oh God, today to do what you know to do best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the infilling of the Holy Spirit so cause lives, oh God, to worship you. Cause lives, oh God, to receive from you. Cause life, oh God, to reverence most importantly. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for every aspect of this uh, service today. Everything that we do, we pray that it will be done unto you. Every word that comes out of your servant's mouth, that it will come out, God, with clarity and precision. Every word that comes out of the mouth of your minstrel, your psalmist, oh God, that it will so touch the hearts of your people and cause them to worship. Oh God, the vehicle, Father, that will take them to the word. And God, even the minstrels, oh God, even as they play, God, anoint their hands, hallelujah, in such a powerful way, oh God, so as they strum and as they hit on that key and as they jab on that drum, Oh God, and the Spirit of the Lord will cause uh, your people to dance. Hallelujah. As David says, uh, when the Spirit of the Lord moves upon his heart, uh, it causes us to dance uh, as David danced. Move as he moved. Worship as he worshiped. Hallelujah. So God, we thank you for them. And even as we invite our psalmist God to come and Hallelujah. Exalt your name. We pray, oh God, that it will be well done to your honor, your glory, and your praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We serve a great and mighty God. He is awesome in this place. He is awesome. Somebody declare that God is awesome. God is awesome. We serve an awesome God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're going to set the atmosphere for the word of God today. Amen. Because we believe that he is a great and mighty God. So I want to invite you to just follow along on the screens and, and worship with me. Amen. 
There is only one name. There is only one name with power to save. Power to save. Now you say there is only one name. We say there is only one name. There is only. There is only one name. With power to save. With power to save. With power to save. Power to save. Let's sing it again. There is only one name. There is only one name. You sound good. There is only one name. We say there is only one name with power to save. With power to save. Power to save. The next part says every knee shall bow down. And every knee shall bow down. Every knee will bow down. Every knee will bow down. Jesus Christ, He is Lord. He is Lord. Let's sing it again. Every knee shall bow down. Every knee. Every knee will bow down. Every tongue shall confess. And every tongue will confess. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He is Lord. He is Lord. And we sing our God. He is champion. Our God. song says atmosphere shift we sing and praise an almighty God. He is worthy to be praised. The Alpha, the Omega, we worship you. We invite your presence even right now because you are a great and mighty God. We honor you today. We glorify you. That's why we can sing atmosphere shift now. Atmosphere shift now. Change. Champion is Jack. 
He reigns. He reigns. Come on, if you believe it forevermore. 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 Say, my God is champion. We sing. My God, he's champion. Is champion. And he reigns. He reigns. Forevermore. 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 One more time, just the voice to sing. My God, you say. My God, he's champion. He's champion. We sing, my God. Come on, lift your voice and sing. His champion. He reigns. He reigns. Forever and ever and ever and evermore. Forevermore. Forevermore. And we just want to break some chains in the atmosphere even right now. Because we believe that there is power in the name of Jesus. Every chain that is in your life that has been holding back your worship, that has been holding back your praise, that has been holding back your desire to get closer to God. We want to break those chains even right now. Because we believe that there is power in the name of Jesus. We declare that there is power in the name of Jesus. I want you to just lift your voice and say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, shout it out. Call the name of Jesus. Because we believe that he's going to break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name. There is power in the name of Jesus. So break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. So there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. And I love this part. It says, we're an army. We're an army. Come on, march your feet. Uh, we're an army. Rising up. We're the army. We're the army. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every Come on, just tell your neighbor, I hear, I hear the chains falling. I want to hear you say, I hear the chains falling. I hear those chains, I hear the chains falling. One more time, I hear the chain. I hear the chain falling. I hear the chain. Chain falling. But there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. To break every chain, 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 break every chain. 
DJ. Come on, just celebrate those chains being broken. Yeah, it's broken. We believe. God, we believe that those chains are broken. Come on, just high five your neighbor and say, I hear the chains falling. To break every chain, 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 break every chain. So there is power. That's it. I want to hear you say, There is power. There is. There is power. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every Come on, just put your hands together for a great God. Come on, church, clap your hands. As you clap your hands, those chains are being broken in your life. We decree and declare that these chains shall be broken. We're calling the atmosphere. Send it down, Lord. Send it down. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 13. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 13. Here at His Majesty, we have taken the Word of God and personalized it. You can keep playing. Because we believe that our God is an awesome God. And the things of the creed that we are declaring are the things that have been holding us back. But we're thanking God as we rehearse this creed that He is breaking every chain in our lives. That He is going to release the blessings that have been held back. That's why the creed says we shall be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. And it just so happens that we live here in the city of New York, so we are doubly blessed. But we are blessed in the city. We are blessed when we go out, and we are blessed when we come in. Praise Him. So even our viewers are at our, that are online, we want to just rehearse the creed. And it shall come to pass if I shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord my God to observe and to do all his commandments which he command me this day that the Lord my God will set me on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on me and overtake me if I shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord my God. Blessed shall I be in the city and blessed shall I be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of my body and the fruit of my ground, and the increase of my kind. Blessed shall be my basket and my store. Blessed shall I be when I come in, and blessed shall I be when I go out. The Lord shall cause my enemies that rise up against me to be smitten before my face. They shall come out against me one way, 
and flee before me seven ways. The Lord shall command a blessing upon me in my storehouses and in all that I set my hand unto. And he shall bless me in the land which the Lord my God gives me. The Lord shall establish me and holy people unto himself as he had sworn unto me, if I shall keep the commandments of the Lord my God and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that I am called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of me. And the Lord shall make me plenteous in goods, in the fruit of my body, and in the fruit of my ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto my fathers to give me. The Lord shall open unto me his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto my land in his season, and to bless all the works of mine hand. And I shall lend unto many nations, and I shall not borrow. And the Lord shall make my, me the head and not the tail. And I shall be above only, and I shall not be beneath. We decree and declare that we will hearken unto the voice of the Lord my God, which he commands me this day to observe and to do them. Hallelujah. We serve a great and mighty God. That's why we can say, I call you holy. Your name is holy. I'm going to invite Elder Carissa to come up, and she's going to lead us in that song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, church, lift up a worship. Lift up a praise. Come on, just open up your mouths and praise him. He is a great and mighty God. He is an awesome God. Hallelujah. I call you holy. Your name is holy. You are so holy to me. I call you holy. Your name is holy. Holy you are, and holy you be. Yeah, we bless your name, God. Let's raise it up and say, I call you. I call you holy. Your name is holy. You are so holy.
We bless your name. Come on, open up your mouth, saints. Uh, just for 30 more seconds and give him the praise he's deserving of. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, we call you holy. We call you righteous. Righteous God. We call you mighty. Mighty God. We call you excellent. Excellent. We call you great God. Great God. We call you just take a moment and think about what he's done for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Jesus. I will bless the old Lord.
Pastor Pam up to the front for a few seconds, just a few seconds. If you can just come up. You can come up next to me. You can grab your seats. And uh, we're going to have Pastor Pam just share a little bit about the event that she usually hosts in Trinidad um, with the kids and how long it's been the vision that God has placed in your heart and the desire what you would like to see happen or come from it. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen, amen. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to be in the presence of the Lord. It's a good thing. Hey, glory. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. I'm thanking God, hallelujah, for the trips that I take to Trinidad. I've been doing this. Um, I have to stop to count. Before 2018 and before that, I was going down in, yeah, something, something. Uh, uh, going down. And uh, we take barrels of stuff for the children and stuff like that. And we'd have this big get together and praise God and teach the children. Sometimes one summer I stayed a long time and we had this summer school going and stuff like that. The children learning. And we're thanking God for the children in Trinidad. And we're looking for this to 
to be uh, something of the youth, where the youth will learn more about God and where we will keep the youth from destruction, you know, by giving them the word of God and, and keeping them safe. And we've been praying about a piece of land, that God would grant us a piece of land so we could have a place that we could go for the children, which means that I would be over there more than I'll be here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're just looking forward for it to grow and for the children to possess the kingdom of God, for it to possess salvation. Hallelujah. We're just thanking God. And we have a good turnout. The children comes out. Hallelujah. We're just blessing God. And I want to thank God for each one of you that helped me. Those of you that bring stuff for the barrel. Those of you that give me a Pentecostal blessing in my hand. I thank God for each one of you because it helps. Because we feed the children. We get the food and everything and feed the children. Hallelujah. And sometimes we invite other children from other places to come. And they come. So we have to feed everybody. So this, now to me, this is a big thing for God. Amen. Big for Jesus. So I'm getting ready to do that again this year. I'm starting a barrel even right now. And by, I uh, want to ship out the last barrels in June. Because I want to be down there in July and August to take care of the things that need to be taken care of. Amen. Amen. So God bless you and thank you for helping. Amen. Amen. I thank I must, uh, first, first of all, I should have thanked the bishop, hallelujah, for all that he have done in this ministry. You know, bishop had helped a lot in the ministry. He's been down there while it's going on and everything. Thank God for our pastor, hallelujah. She's been down there, hallelujah. <laughs> Set the place on fire. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> and there are other, other brotherings in the midst that have been down there on occasion when we have in this service. Uh, Deaconess Michelle has been down there. Elder Gwen has been down there. So, you know, you can hear from them too. I mean, we'll be having a great time. Amen. God bless you and thank you for this opportunity. Amen. Before you, before you go, Pastor Pat, before you go. Uh, the Bible says, suffer the little children to come unto me, and I will receive them and take them into my bosom. For there are many thousands who have never heard his name. And here at His Majesty, we can say that we have seen, even through our youth department, that parents have started coming out to church and becoming members, and they have received God. And we want to extend a special prayer even right now to the work that Pastor Pam is doing in Trinidad. That not only will the kids be blessed, but that businesses will see what she's doing and they would start to pour into her house. You know, we believe that we will be lenders and not borrowers. And, and we rehearse the scripture that uh, God will increase the increase of our kind. Our kind is the works that we are doing, yeah. the production that we make. So as she produces great things for their lives, not just for school supplies and food and clothing, but everything that she does, Pastor Pam, we want to just extend a blessing even unto you right now. Jesus. Come on, church, just lift your voice up and worship with me. We serve a great and mighty God. Come on, church, just lift your voice and say hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah. Come on, just say hallelujah with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we pray for a total filling, oh God. Even right now, we pray that you would use her, oh God. That the children that come into... Receive, O oh God, shall receive a double portion. Every item that is given out, every clothing piece, every school item, everything that is placed into their lives, O oh God, God, we declare turning around for them and their families. We declare a victory, O oh God, that this work 
this work will never end. Even after she is long gone, the work will continue, oh God. We place the ministry for children in Trinidad, even right now, that it will extend into the communities in Trinidad. It would extend into the neighborhoods of God. And that people will know that you are a great God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So God, we thank you even right now. We thank you for the vision that you have placed in our life. We thank you for the gifts. We thank you for the hands that have sown. We thank you for the people that have donated. And I pray that as we sow and we donate, that blessing will flow, oh God. And it shall bring forth fruit in its season. God, we declare that you are a great God. And there is nothing you can do in her life, in her family's life. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you. Amen. Well, we're fully rested, amen? I want you to rise on your feet as we welcome the man of God who's going to sow into our lives spiritually. So let's get ready to receive the word that God has in store for us. Amen? Come on, church, lift up your voice and praise God. Lift up your voice and worship him. Hallelujah. Come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Ha. Just love the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, oh. And Father and God, may your grace, your mercy, and your favor rest, remain, and abide with each and every one of us as we receive your word, as we receive divine instructions. This we ask in your precious holy name. Amen and amen. You may grab your seats if you can. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to be among God's holy people. Hey, hallelujah. Now you turn to your neighbor and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, hey. Yes, Lord. Ha. Oh, glory to God. Ha. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul, I love you. Hey! 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 Says yeah! Oh! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul, yes, Lord! Completely, yeah! My soul says yeah! 
The pastor Pam that she is being very conservative. Yeah, she 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 says a lot of children comes out and twenty might be a lot in some people's eyes. Sometimes we have a hundred, a hundred and twenty, sometimes we have eighty kids. It's it's a big uh, it's a small community with a big turnout of children. Amen. And young people. Hallelujah. One of the young men who started six, seven years ago, he ran for a political office in the last election. That is the impact. And he said, I want to make a difference. The impact that it had on his life. He says, I want to make a difference. And this was a young man who was just running all over the place. But after God arrested him, hallelujah, now he preaches the gospel. Hey, hallelujah. He is out there preaching. He wants to get into government and make a bigger difference. I tell you, God is doing some good things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Shaguanas, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you an opportunity to sow into that work. Hallelujah. If you didn't come prepared to sow today, you want to make a pledge. Hallelujah. Elder Stephen will take it. Hallelujah. Sometimes we send four barrels, five barrels. That, that racks up to thousands to clear it. You know, so many of us know what it is to send barrels to the country. Time you clear the barrels. Time we feed the children. Sometimes it's eight, ten, fifteen thousand dollars is spent to cover. We do tents. We do chairs. There are a lot of things. I'm, I'm thankful to God to be a part of the experience. Amen. And when we do it from our end, it, it, it works out so much easier. Hallelujah. I'm talking about TT dollars, not US dollars. Amen. Hallelujah. So you understand. Amen. Hallelujah. 1500 is like 2000 US. And that would be the complete cost to cover all the expenses to make it happen. Hallelujah. So if you're here and you want to say, Bishop, I like to pledge. I like to sow, pledge, whatever. I like to give. We want to take an opportunity right now. I'll start off with 300, Pastor Pam Stephen. Take your notes. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Who else will join with me? And let us pledge. Let us cover. Pastor Pam has been doing this from her pocket for the past couple of years. And I told her, it is time for the church, His Majesty International, because the work belongs to His Majesty International Fellowship and for His Majesty International Fellowship to step up to another level of giving. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Who will join us? Who will join me? Hallelujah. 100. You have it, Stephen? Look next to you. Amen. That, that, that's 4 and 1, 5. Henry, 6. 50 from Sister Dawn. Amen. 650. Come on. Hallelujah. 100 from Sister uh, Maureen. That's 750. 850. Sister Avalon. 950. Brother Selwyn. Amen. 150. Thanks. I wanted to break the 50, amen, so that's uh, 10, 1100, sister, you, you seeing them, right, seeing the hands, okay, let's slow down, hallelujah, so let's start over, how far are you, right after Avalon, we have um, Mother Amanda, sister Amanda, 150, hmm? Avalon, 100, all these are the hundred people. Everybody I call is hundred. One person with fifty. Uh huh. Brother Selwyn, you have him. What number you got? All right. Sister Gladys, a hundred. One hundred.
Sister Gladys, 100. How far are we? Nine? Okay. So nine. Let's do ten. One more. Amen. You have my three down, Stephen, for a hundred. Okay. So that's a thousand. Sister pa Pastor Pam, we start in that project. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We have folks following us online also. Who of us? Nick. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Sister Thank you. Sister Z online is 100. Amen. Come on. God is doing some things. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise him. That's 11. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Aha. Yes, Lord. Sister Cheryl Christopher. Sister Cheryl, 50. Amen. All the way from Florida. Hallelujah. Come on. God is. God, God, God is. God is. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God is. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. What's the total? Sister Monica Ford, 100. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. what the Lord just told me hallelujah he said you will stand before the people just as you're raising 2,000 you will be raising 200,000 because we will be purchasing lands purchasing buildings and God is gonna bless the people at such a level hallelujah that 5,000 will not be a big thing 10,000 will not be a tough thing. God says, I am going to release a, a thousand times blessing upon the people so that they will say, I got this. Hallelujah. 20,000 will be an easy thing. Hallelujah. Oh, God is. Oh, hallelujah.
mention, and I'm going to mention it now. We have a ministry in Trinidad. Pastor Kendall, yes, His Majesty, a church ministry apart from what I'm doing. And Pastor Kendall and his family take part in everything that I do. I just want to recognize Pastor Kendall for coming, playing the music, bringing his children and all the, everything, just, just there. Oh, glory. He would preach. I need a preacher. He would preach and teach. You know, he's a part of it. He make himself a part. I thank God for Pastor Kendall and his family. Hallelujah. Thank God for, we call her Tanti. She allow us to use the a big yard and everything set up. Tanti, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ha, ha. Woo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Pam came all the way from Pennsylvania this morning. Hallelujah. She didn't have a clue what God was about to do for her. Hallelujah. She just said, I'm getting a ride to New York. She called me. She said, Bishop, I'm getting a ride. I'm coming back. I'm coming to church today. Hallelujah. Watch God. Watch God. Hey! Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me a word and I just want to share it with you taken from the book of Ezekiel chapter 34. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 34 and we're reading from verses 23. Uh, verses 23 all the way to verse 31. Ezekiel 34. Hallelujah. When you get some time, you go home and you read that entire chapter. Hey, praise the name of the Lord. God's shepherd. Amen. Hallelujah. God's shepherd. That's the theme for today's message. Hallelujah. And we want to look at the attributes and the qualities of God's shepherd. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, you know, there, there, there are some times you see, you, you see the ladies, man, you would see the presidents uh, uh, on a guard, uh, secrets, the secret service. Uh, but we're talking about God's shepherd. A shepherd chosen by God in a time like this. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Pause for a moment with me. Let's pray over our nation. Father and God, we thank you. We thank you for peace and safety in our land. Even as the war is impending and the war is being, being stirred between Iran, hallelujah, Israel, even America and the countries that are supporting Israel right now. Iran is flexing their muscles and they're saying, you attack us will attack you back. But we declare in the name of Jesus uh, the power, the covering, uh, the grace, the favor, the protection of God our Savior is protecting all of God's children from any attack, uh, any sleeper cell, any terrorist plan in this country. It is brought to a halt. It is exposed even right now in the name of Jesus. God, that you will raise up the seers, the prophets, that they will point men and women in authority directly to the place where these things are being plotted. Hallelujah. Men have been so dependent on science and technology and they forgot. Hallelujah. There is a God greater than any form of science and technology. There's a God who sees and knows even the thoughts in the hearts of men. Expose it before it is brought into play. This we ask in your precious holy name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not going to run through the script here, but I'm taking you on a journey. So bear with me as we go through the, the verses, uh, verses 23 to 31. Amen. Uh, this is the, these are the qualities uh, of God's uh, shepherd. Hallelujah. Firstly, uh, uh, 34 and verse, uh, verse 24 and uh, verse 23. Chapter, chapter 34, verse uh, 23. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Chapter 34, verse 23. The Bible says, and I will set apart one shepherd. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the uniqueness of the shepherd that God places over your life. Hallelujah. He is, he has one unique characteristic that stands out, that makes him different from others. He says, I will set up one shepherd over them. And he, that one shepherd that I have chosen and I have assigned for your life, he is the one to feed you. When you're eating food from all kinds of different places, you could get all kinds of diseases. You can get all kinds of complications. But when you have one place, one source, you are, you are guaranteed good quality. Hallelujah. Oh, there are different diseases that will come contaminate your, your, your intestines and your bowels. Even your bowels of compassion will be impacted if your diet is from the wrong place. Instead of being loving and kind, you can become hateful and despiseful. But God is saying, I will set up one shepherd over them and he is the one to feed you. And my servant David, my servant David speaks of the royalty of the shepherd. Not necessarily a man, but the position of royalty. Amen. And we are a royal priesthood. Amen. Hallelujah. And my servant David, he shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd. God's chosen will be the one, hallelujah, to feed you. If you are here and you are connected with us online because you couldn't make it today, you understand you have one shepherd, not multiple shepherds, not multiple sources of direction, not because that is what brings confusion. He says one shepherd, one shepherd will I set over you, and that's God's plan. So the 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 first quality uh, of the shepherd is his uniqueness. Uh, he must be identified as a direct, uh, specific individual chosen by God and no one else. Uh, hallelujah. The second thing, uh, the second quality, verse 24, work with me, hallelujah. Verse 24, he must uh, mirror God, hallelujah, your shepherd, that's why when you know your shepherd is from God, they mirror God, they reflect God, hallelujah, they are a reflection of God, amen, the Bible says, and I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant, David, a prince among them, I will be their God, one side of the mirror, my servant, will be the prince. The prince is in the house. Amen. And the prince is a reflection of God that you cannot see. Hallelujah. He says, I, the Lord, have spoken it. God has intended that the prince in the church, his shepherd, his, his pastor for you to feed and to lead you is supposed to be a reflection of the God that you believe in. That is why you have trust and confidence. That's why you have respect and adoration for the pastor that God has placed over your life. Because he is the one who has to mirror the God that is supposed to lead and guide you. And that's the thing we need to recognize. The Bible says, and I, the Lord, will be their God. God will be God. He will never change. But he says, my serve and in conjunction with me being God, God being God, and my servant, the shepherd in the house, he will be prince among you. He will be a reflection of the God that he is serving before you. Amen. Amen. When God came to this earth, he didn't come to this earth as God, but he came to this earth as Jesus. Jesus is the earthly manifestation of the God that we serve. And the same principle is ascribed to you as your pastor. He is supposed to be the earthly representation of the God that you serve. When we understand that, then there will be a higher level of, of, of awe and respect for the person that God has placed at the head as the shepherd of your life. Amen? 
he mirrors the God that we serve. And the Bible says, David, he will be a prince. Your shepherd is to be a prince in your eyes, a place of royalty, a place of excellence in your very eyes. Hallelujah. The third thing we see here, the qualities of God's shepherd. Number three, uh, hallelujah, verse, uh, uh, hallelujah, the verse number 25, uh, the, the next thing he says, and I will make with them a covenant of peace. Hallelujah. Yeah. God's shepherd, your pastor, God's pastor, God's man for the hour should be the, the, the bearer of peace. Not confusion, not contention, not chaos. If you have a pastor, a man of God over your life who is always bringing confusion, always bringing contention, always bringing chaos, always bringing opposition, when they step into the pit here, you need to check yourself and ask the question, am I in the right place? The quality and the qualification of God's servant, he must bring, or she, if there's a female pastor, they must bring the covenant. They must bring the contract, the presence, the representation of peace. He says, and will cause the evil beasts to cease silence uh, anyone that opposes you. Uh, come on. Uh, this is what God says. I will release. Uh, I, have, I have a sign and I will release uh, my shepherd uh, to look over your life and he will cause that evil beast. Uh, anything that opposes you. Any spirit. Uh, any weakness. Uh, any passion. Any disease. Uh, anything that is not of God. Uh, any opposition. Uh, he will cause it to cease. That's the reason for your pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they shall dwell safely, safely in the wilderness uh, and sleep in the woods. Hallelujah. The, uh, the plan of the enemy is to t steal your peace. You can't sleep in the night. You're up and you're about and you just can't help yourself. You're just confused what's happening here. And, uh, and, and you're frustrated and you're, uh, and you're just overwhelmed. But your shepherd, the shepherd, God's man for your life brings you to a place where you will have a life of peace. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go on. Hallelujah. The Bible says, uh, and he will make uh, or bring blessings. Uh, he will make or bring blessings. Uh, we need to understand that. Uh, the, the, the God that we serve, uh, he takes things. Ah, uh, uh, brother, brother Andrew, he takes things and turns it around. Hallelujah. Come on. The Bible says, look what the Bible says. And I will make them uh, and the places around them about uh, my hill, a blessing. The, the, the thing that some people see as an obstacle before their life. Uh, hallelujah. This big hill, this big mountain, it's an insurmountable task uh, that they are seeing before you. He says, my shepherd gives you the ability to make that a blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. My God, uh, when you're going through whatever you're going through, uh, I tell you, uh, God is going to turn it around. Uh, hallelujah. What the enemy meant for evil, uh, God is going to turn it around. He'll turn it around uh, for your good. Uh, hallelujah. So he will make that mountain, uh, make that hill uh, into a blessing. Uh, and then when you get accustomed to blessings, tell your neighbor, I need some blessings. Uh, I need, I need, I need some blessings. Uh, when I get my blessing, everything in your life, uh, you will see it uh, as a blessing. Uh, the things that you went through, it was a blessing. Uh, it was a teaching moment. Uh, it was an opportunity for you to see the hand of God at work. Hallelujah. 
When you get to that place, you're not a complainer, but you are a praiser. Hallelujah. You are a worshiper. And you look at that mountain, and others are complaining about that mountain. You say, oh, another reason for me to build my spiritual muscles. Hallelujah. When I look at the mountain, I see it as an opportunity to get a far view of where God has taken me. When I get up to the top of that mountain, I will feel the cool breeze. I will no, hallelujah. I will see uh, all the goodness uh, of my God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You begin to see things differently. That's what your pastor does. Uh, the shepherd, God's shepherd, causes you to take another look. Uh, you begin to see and make everything uh, a blessing before you. Uh, he says, and I will cause uh, the showers uh, to come down in his season. And they shall be showers uh, of blessings. Uh, hallelujah. Are you expecting uh, a shower of blessing? Pastor Pam never expected the shower of blessing today. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and Pastor Pam, I say unto you today, there are ten times more people uh, that is going to come and sow and give uh, and good things. Uh, we're going to expand it. Hallelujah. It's not going to be one day, but two days. Hakata, Robo, Sendere, In the name of Jesus, expansion and growth. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, uh, when you begin to become a, a praiser because of the power of your shepherd, the power of your pastor, the power of your God working in your life, uh, then you will be overwhelmed you'll be you'll be surrounded by showers of blessings hallelujah are you tired of the negativities of this world hallelujah we there shall be showers of blessings coming your way i receive it i receive the blessings come on do you receive the blessings today i receive the blessings in jesus name hallelujah Hallelujah. The fifth quality of, of a shepherd, the fifth quality, next verse, he says, he shall be a deliverer. Hallelujah. A deliverer. Come on. Hey, the Bible says, and the tree of the field shall yield, shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase, and they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord, when I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered, hallelujah, and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them, hallelujah. Those who come in, who want to advantage you, who have evil intentions, God says, I will cause your pastor, I will cause your shepherd to show you that it will expose the evil intentions of evil men's hearts. They will deliver you from those situations. Uh, hallelujah. The quality of God's shepherd. He is a deliverer. He's not afraid to wield his sword. Uh, he's not afraid to get up and fight. Uh, let his voice be heard. Uh, he will stand uh, on your behalf. Uh, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, many years ago, uh, one of, our, one of our, our regular visitors at the church, they never took membership, but they were regular visitors uh, at the church. Uh, they had a court matter. Hallelujah. And they were going. Uh, they had to go to court. Uh, and uh, they would have gone for seven years in jail. Uh, hallelujah. But God sent the deliverer. Come on. Uh, hallelujah. God sent the deliverer. God told me. He says, dressed uh, in your bishop's robe. Uh, dressed in your bishop's uh, in your bishop's uh, uh, attire and go into that courtroom uh, and stand. Uh, I stood in the back of the courtroom. Uh, hallelujah. The judge asked the question, who is that guy? Uh, and the guy turned around uh, who was about to go to jail for seven years. Uh, he says, that's my bishop. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he says, that's my pastor. He turned. Uh, he, the judge forgot the people. He forgot the lawyers. Uh, he says, uh, could I release him under your care and under your supposition, sup, uh, uh, <laughs> supervision. Hallelujah. He says, yes. I said to him, yes, you can. I will counsel. I will lead. I will guide him. Hallelujah. And the judge said, you are free to go. Come on. Hallelujah. Hey, I tell you, the God that we serve. 
He is. He is a powerful God. He causes his servant to be your deliverer. Some people are still in the mess that they're in because they refuse to call their shepherd. You're calling everyone else, telling everyone else, and still you're stuck in your situation. But when you open your mouth and say, thank God, he gave me a shepherd. I'm going to call my man of God. When you call your shepherd, he is the one who delivers you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number six, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The shepherd gives you confidence. The quality of God's shepherd, he gives you confidence. He causes you to be fearless. The Bible says, and they shall no more be a prey to the heathen. Neither shall the beasts of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely and none, hallelujah, and none shall make them afraid. No one, nothing will make you afraid, hallelujah. Oh, come on, I want you to understand this. God didn't connect you to a church. He connects you to a man of God who will feed you, who will guide you, who will pray for you, who will cover you, who will declare things over your life. And when you live under the supervision and under the covering of your man of God. You will be fearless. Hallelujah. When Pastor Marlon Herrera, so many of you know him. Hallelujah. His wife is listening right now. Hallelujah. He might be listening too. When, his, when he was in the hospital in a coma for 21 days. And the doctor says, we need to consider pulling the plug. Hallelujah. She said to them, no, you're not doing that. Why? Because my pastor said he's going to live and not die. He will come out of this coma. He will be victorious in the situation and the doctor had an attitude he said is your pastor a doctor what kind of man is he she says he declared it and that's what happen, will happen you will not pull that plug he will live and come out of it hallelujah Years later, he is alive. He is doing 10 years, hallelujah, alive, going on for God. Hallelujah. That's what God said. He will make you fearless, and they shall, be, they shall no more be a prey for the heathen. Hallelujah. No heathen, no evil worker is going to overwhelm you. Hallelujah. Neither shall the beasts of the land devour them. The beasts of the land tried to devour our pastor Douglas. Hallelujah. But we declared, we declared, we declared. Hallelujah. He will live and not die. When they were about to put a contaminated heart in his body, God called. He says, Call, make a call to all the saints. How many of you remember we were praying night and day? We called all over the country, all over the world, and we had prayer and prayer and prayer for him. Hallelujah. That they would not put a contaminated heart in his being. Hallelujah. And he was on the table prep for the surgery. The heart was there. And then they did one more test. Come on. I tell you the God that we serve. And it says, no, we can't. They had to, to get him, send him back, send him back to his room. Hallelujah. Because the God that we serve, he will not allow the enemy to devour us and destroy us. God did not bring you here by chance or by accident. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. God has given you one of the qualifications of, of God's shepherd is that he he gives you confidence and he makes you fearless. Hallelujah. So I challenge you, children of God, you walk with confidence. Speak with confidence. He says, when my church pray, things happen. That should be your confidence. 
number seven, hallelujah. Number seven, uh, the Bible says, uh, hallelujah. Uh, he will make you the pride of the nations. Uh, hey, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Verse 29, and I will raise up for them a plant of renown. Uh, hallelujah. What is renown? Uh, hey, hallelujah. It is something that is, that, that is admirable. Hallelujah. Something that is prestigious. Uh, hey, glory to God. This is what God says. This is what the work of your pastor, God's shepherd for your life, is to take you from the miry clay and put you on a rock. Uh, hallelujah. To take you to a place of excellence. Uh, take you to a place of greatness. Uh, hallelujah. You will have a voice. Uh, you will have authority. You will have power. Hey, glory to God. Uh, he says, and I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen anymore. Uh, no one is going to talk evil against you uh, because God has given you a shepherd uh, after his own heart. Uh, a shepherd who would lead you and feed you and guide you in the ways of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. He will make you the pride of the nation. Uh, when people see you, they say, oh, there goes uh, his majesty's members. Uh, oh, come on. Hallelujah. People of class. Uh, people of integrity. Uh, Hallelujah. Number eight, uh, the Bible says uh, he points them uh, to Jesus. Hallelujah. No shepherd of God uh, is always trying uh, to get all the attention uh, and they want to be seen uh, and heard uh, all the time. Their primary focus, uh, their primary mission uh, is to point men to Jesus. Uh, the Bible says, thus shall they know that I, the Lord your God, am God. Uh, they will know through the voice of the shepherd that God is God. Hallelujah. Though their responsibility and their role is a reflection of Jesus to mirror God before them, their, 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 their activity, their main activity is to point men and women to see God. Show them God in everything. Uh, hallelujah. We don't teach people here at this church uh, to be dependent uh, all the time. Uh, but we teach you to, to, to pray and to intercede and to call on your God uh, and act. Uh, hallelujah. Please him unto your God. Uh, the Bible says, and that they even, and they, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. They shall know that I, the Lord, the, am their God. Hallelujah. We, our role, each and every one of us, uh, and every pastor that might be listening to me today, uh, your primary, your number one role and responsibility as God's shepherd is to point men and women to Jesus. And each and every one of us, as we follow suit, uh, as we follow that example, our responsibility is to point men and women to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might be saying, this man is only talking about sheep and goat and all kinds of different things. Well, tell your neighbor, he's speaking about me. He's speaking about me. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Uh, when you read the entire chapter, you would see uh, it was about uh, the, 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 the fat sheep, the lean sheep. Uh, it was about the shep the good shepherd and the bad shepherd. But today we're focusing on God's shepherd, the good shepherd. The last verse, uh, verse number 31, the Bible says, And, my, and you, my flock, uh, the flock of my pasture, are human beings. That's each and every one of us. Uh, and I am your God. Bow your heads with me. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Know this, that the God that we serve is our God. Hallelujah. I am your God. Behold, I have given you shepherd, a shepherd, a shepherd, not many shepherds, but a shepherd, one, one leader. Hallelujah. Be not consumed. Be not confused. God is not the author of confusion. God is a, a wise leader. And he teaches us. Uh, he has assigned to each and every life 
a shepherd, one shepherd. And his role is to mirror God before you. His role is to make you fearless. His role is to be your deliverer. His role is to be your protector. His role is to encourage your hearts to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. That's the God that we serve. Father and God, charge my lips, Lord. Let each and every one under the sound of my voice, even right now, let them understand your love, your grace, your mercy, and your favor. Let, oh God, all the good things that you have for your people, let them understand as they submit, as they surrender, as they reverence and respect their good shepherd who is your appointee for their lives. The mountains will turn into blessings and the showers of blessings will fall all over them. Thank you for doing it in your precious holy name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Holy, holy for me. Hallelujah. Remember this. Strong families make strong cities in Jesus' name.